Hello, welcome to a small tutorial on how to use the hatch tool. So, as you can see, I'm currently in uh, Autodesk 2022 and I'm going to start by moving in, opening up a new drawing. And within my new drawing, I'm just going to use my existing template, which I've just got a small border in, so I'm going to zoom it into the view. And this is a A4 border, so I know that this, everything inside here would print on A4. So what I need to do is make a encapsulated shape. So I'm just going to bring on in my drawing layer, put circle. I'm going to then use the diameter tool down here. So I'm going to put one of diameter, let's say 55. And I'm going to do a fillet of so do R for radius, um, let's do 105 radius between the two. So the first object and the second object, and I'm going to repeat that for the bottom. So it's like a filleted sort of shape, and I'm going to do a trim. So what I'm going to do is offset first, actually offset everything 8 mil. So we can make like a like an internal shape and then we can make it to trim. So trim everything down. You can use it as a bit more of a tool if you kind of push the two through together so you draw lines essentially. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then hatch that centre section. So that's going to be machine. So I'm going to go up to the hatch tool, which is up here. Or you can also use hatch command on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cycle through. Now, if you, when you open this, it can normally come through quite small. Uh, if you click the three dots, drag it out, you can see more or less all of the hatch that we've got. So I'm just going to symbolise... Probably going to use uh, 30, ANSI 37. Got that section there. And OK that. Now what I'm going to do is just draw a really small circle up here. I'm going to hatch that one with the same ANSI 37. Close that. Now what I'm going to do is just delete that circle so you get that kind of hatch effect. And I'm going to put a little text, single line next to it. And I'm going to do this two and a half, zero. Move up machine only. And uh, depth 5.5 mil. Enter twice to accept. I've got like a little note up there that then kind of if I pass this onto a um, machine and board, then uh, that's the area that I need machine to a 5.5 depth. So again, if you've got like any refer work or you've got components come in, you can add a feature in. I can do that up in there. Other hatches. You might want to say, well, I'm going to offset something by only 5 mil. One, but there we go. Make mistakes happen. Just going to delete that one off. And you can say, I want to hatch maybe around the circles. Uh, this time you may want like a gradient. You can actually put like a linear gradient in. Um, or you can just stick with a hatch, say. use a gradient actually I'm gonna use a linear gradient I'm gonna choose my two colors I want to use blue pick me point one pick my point two close it again and you could might want to just put another circle Roughly the same size back into the hatch. Let's use that blue colour. 
Turns the hatch. So I always like to delete the circle afterwards just because it's uh don't get any lines around and it's a solid kind of shape and you could sort of copy driver's seat control V and you could put another note in inspection required plus or minus Not point not one of them now, something like that. So you got kind of like little notes that you could put in. Once you're happy, then obviously then you could then plot output, and then these shapes would stay. So I'm just going to plot. Obviously, I'd normally put drawings and stuff on at this stage. Let's do a PDF plot. I've set everything up correctly. Send to the plot up. Yeah, I'm just going to call it hatch. Exercise. Save that one, and then what will pop up then? Here, the PDF version. And then you've got a PDF version of your overall shape. And then you pass it on to your team then go forward so that's just a quick demonstration on how to use the hatch but also remember that hatch currently has gradients and boundaries so you don't have to have a traditional hatch and if you so wish and under the hatch tool you may actually want to put in your own um, hatch style so you can make your own patterns you've got pattern selections there you can go to the autodesk um, library download your own hatch uh, or perhaps you want to make a boundary and basically come up with your own um, properties which you can play around with using this one. So I hope you find this um, helpful and um, use this to further knowledge on AutoCAD. Thanks very much.